Hello, here I am again, in the kitchen, just doing my thang. Not up at the plot, as you can see. We'll probably talk about that later on in the video. Um, this particular video is just a quick catch up on what's been growing on here in the kitchen. And uh, maybe a little chat about windowsill gardening. Is windowsill gardening a thing? I think it can be. I mean, you can certainly grow herbs on a windowsill and you can get stuff started off on a windowsill. I don't have a greenhouse, as some of you may know, um, so this is how I get a lot of my um, seedlings started off. Uh, let's chat, let's just have a look at what's going on. Here we have the potatoes chitting away enthusiastically. There we go. They're a bit further on than in the last video. They are now ready to be planted. So that will probably happen tomorrow. So take a good look at them before I put them in a whole bunch of pots and tubs and commence the growing process. Here's a lovely example of windowsill gardening. These are the stirring onions that I planted out. As you can see, they're starting to sprout. Out the 30 that I planted, 20 of them have woken up and are starting to love life. So there we go. No greenhouse involved, just a windowsill. I planted up the sweet peas. Guess who decided to say hello? Yes, sweet pea seedlings. So they're having a go, and there are a few more in this pot, just poking their heads up above the soil. And finally, I got the Atlantic giant pumpkin seeds shitting away in this kind of like makeshift greenhouse thing. Some damp tissue there. Let's see if I can successfully separate it with one hand. No, massive fail, absolute massive fail. Oh, right. give me a second. There you go, that's better. Well, as you can see, this fella here has definitely woken up. It looks like he's been on the old Viagra. And then that one there, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. He's just starting to break out of his shell as well. So we've got two successful candidates at the moment um, in the old Atlantic giant pumpkin seed stakes. So yeah. I also need to get the broad beans soaking and underway. Um, I did a video on how to grow broad beans from start to finish last year. I'll put a little link to it, I don't know, maybe up here somewhere. Um, do check that video out. Uh, I follow the entire kind of broad bean growing process from start to finish so yeah it's not a bad video I didn't say so myself anyway let's get these bad boys soaking here we go extremely technical method open up the packet chuck a broad bean on the floor Fill the jar with water. Add the bean that you chucked on the floor and leave these bad boys to soak for about five or six days. I'll drop this fun sized jar of happiness on a windowsill. I can do it right now. There we go. And we'll chart its progress. Before I go, I just want to have a quick chat with you about my growing season this year. I haven't been up to the allotment yet. Uh, due to laziness, I still need to get up there and knock it into shape. But I think I did mention on the last video that I was going to try and grow most of my potatoes in the back garden. Well, I've expanded that idea and I think I'm going to grow a lot more veg in my back uh, garden this year rather than up at the plot. Because the world has gone mental at the moment um, with a situation which is just, I know, 
Anyway, you don't want to hear my views on that because they are probably very different to yours. Um, I'm going to grow most of, or a lot of my vegetables in my back garden because, I don't know, the way the government over here in the UK is trying to put everybody in lockdown, it wouldn't surprise me if they um, bizarrely locked down allotments for some weird reason. So then that would be extremely frustrating if I've planted all my seeds and vegetable plants up there only to be told I'm not allowed to go up there because of, well, you know what. Um, so yeah, could have a slightly different look and feel to um, the videos this year. Like I said, I'll just be growing a lot of uh, my stuff in the back garden. And yeah, that's it. Food for thought, maybe. I don't know. Um, please stop all this panic buying. It's just craziness. And why are you buying toilet rolls? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to buy something, go out to your garden centre. Buy some seeds, people. Buy some uh, long storing vegetables like potatoes, onions, butternut squash, pumpkins. Um, because if whatever this is continues into the autumn and winter seasons, uh, you, uh, you'll be reliant on a bit of long storage uh, vegetables. Like I said, like potatoes, onions, and the other. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on, uh, on that. Right. I'm off, as in sod. Thank you for joining me. If you have, remember to hit that like button, share, uh, subscribe, but most importantly, please do comment down below. And until the next video, bye for now.